Hey guys, how you doing? Um, this is G, the mad scientist from the Food Play Flyers. Um, got myself a night reading. So I've been uh, doing a lot of night flying and I figured, hey, uh, daylight savings time is coming, gotta turn the clock back. It's gonna be darker longer, or actually darker sooner and longer. Um, so, you know, there's a lot of birds you can't fly out there unless you put lights on them. But, um, you know, this is perfect because it's coming around just for the holidays and what we do to, to our houses and, and our office spaces and buildings, um, workplaces, we put lights on them, right? Uh, festive, colorful lights. So I figured, hey, you know, just in time for the holiday season, maybe I can find a light pattern to match my house when it's I take unboxing, it. But it's a 90% unboxing. The reason why I say 90% unboxing is because I took with me to work. Um, I want to uh, look at the manual and read it and see if there's anything special that I need to do in preparation for this. But here's the manual here. It's pretty, pretty big. So you got the Horizon Hobby logo on it. You got the decals. You got the invasion stripes. And right here underneath the, underneath the, the tape, it's going to be a LED strips. All the way across to the window. In a minute, got a small package here of hardware. So three screws, which is a uh, Phillips screwdriver or star tip or cross tip. You got some tape and a bind plug. You got the reading, night reading sticker on here. Uh, again, LED strips. I'm gonna go over this tape again and make sure that it's firmly making contact. Put this here. This is very, very light. Now we get to the fuselage. So, you know what? When I first got into this hobby, I really didn't like the idea of belly landing anything only and except if you have an emergency that your kid has to come down. That I totally understand and get. But, uh, this, I guess this will be okay. It's got a protective uh, skid right here. It's got a hatch right here where I guess you can do some kind of maintenance get to your servos, your plugs if need be. So, okay, so there's two spots left available right here. If you guys can see that, that's where your um, the leads from your your wings are going to come through up. Uh, I guess the, they're going to go into this channel here and to here. And straight down they're going to come out and going to plug into those two spots. Magnetic right here. That's good there. Nice positive lock. Actually, I thought it was stuck. Look like how much pressure. That's good. And you got a protective skid back here. And it connects for the LEDs right there. The rudder is already set up. It's already connected. So here's your bind extension for binding. Here is uh, the control board and the buttons over here. You got three buttons. Uh, the center button is going to be for uh, speed of the of the of the lights moving, and left and you got a left and right button for the different colors. And this plug right here is going to be receiving your balance uh, balance lead. There we go. I forgot about the. If you come back over here, cameraman. I forgot about this switch here. So in the daytime, if you don't you don't need to use the light, there you go. That's simple. On and off switch. We got a six channel AR631 receiver here. So there's two ways you can bind this. Uh, you can use a bind plug, or you can press right here. If you focus over here in this part, the insignia here, the spectrum insignia, you, it's a button. You can hear it, but I'm pressing on it. That's a button. So you press down and you hold it, and then you put your, your leads together um, to, uh, to turn it on and give it power. Once you give it power, it's going to be flashing a lot. It's going to be flashing fast. That's because it's in the bind mode. Alright guys, we're back. I did a quick pause really quick so I can get my FMS um, RC plane stand. You got the elevator. So here is the elevator. Of course, whenever you get an elevator like this, you want to start off slow. You want to exercise it a bit. Get a good workout on it. Because if you just throw it on there, and if you try to uh, fly without working it out, you're gonna pull a lot of stress in that servo motor and even possibly strip the gears. Here's the bottom of it, here's your lead. 
Um, and here's your control surface, your control horns here, where you attach the clevis. Can, again, see, now it's a lot freer. You definitely want to get some of this done. Now we'll pull out the spar. So the spar is out. It's over. Right, guys, we're back. Got to do a quick pause. Make some uh, make some room and adjustments. Um, I went and got my radio. It's powering on, as you can see. I got the IX12. Do a quick assembly. So we're gonna look at the manual really quick. So straight away, we're gonna start off with uh, the elevator. All right. For the sake of saving time, I'm gonna figure this out later. Uh, they give us tape here. Uh, four pieces of tape. One on top. One on the bottom. On each side. So I'm not crazy about taping stuff permanently. I'm going to come up with some kind of mechanism where I can put uh, maybe a, a screw in here. Uh, maybe a, yeah, maybe a screw in the center without puncturing anything critical. A screw on each side. So I'm probably going to embed some plastic pieces in there. Um, so I can put some set screws in to, to lock that wing in place instead of tape. This is going to be, you know what? We're going to run this through the wing. Get that in there until it comes to a stop. I'm using a twisting motion to help get it in. There we go, it came to a stop. And I'm gonna open up the hatch at the bottom so I can get this wire. Oh, they want to close on me. Open that up again. And as it's doing that, I'm gonna see if I can feel for this wire. Hey guys, uh, for the sake of uh, saving time, I went and connected everything, the wires, the wings. I haven't connected the clevis yet. I just want to point out this one cool feature. It's got this cutout right here to let air flow in and out the piece right, of guys, um, I'm back. I went just to save up some time and I ain't got much memory in my SD card, but I already put everything in. I connected the, the, the leads from each wing into the, it's like a little circuit board. Well, not a circuit board, a kind of connection point over here in the bottom so you got one two on this side here and then that's it everything's plugged in. Uh, a quick binding procedure really quick i recreated a profile on my lunch break at work today for the for the night radio i'm going to show you two ways to do it um the, the regular blind plug way so there we go all right so if you look in here you see the light flashing it's in bind mode so now I'm gonna to go to my radio, right? And hit bind. I'm gonna stand roughly about three feet away. I'm gonna press and hold. Binding. Bind complete DSMS. There we go. We got some dancing going on. So now the way I bound oh, over here, facing me. Uh, the way I bounded the, the radio, um, I didn't activate the safe. So now I'm going to show you uh, how to do it, activating safe. So now I'm going to unplug the battery. All right. I'm going to connect it again. The light's flashing, right? So now I'm going to remove the bind plug. It's still flashing. Grab my radio. Hit bind. Hold down. It's binding. You should get two dances now. One. Two. So there you go. So that's now it's safe. It's hooked up just as a precaution. Um, the other way, it's holding the button down. Um, it's kind of cumbersome to do some. This, this is somewhat easy. I guess you can use your middle finger, unplug it, press the button down and do it. I don't want to do it for the sake of saving time. But that's what that looks like. So now that I got everything connected, I'm gonna turn on the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect the, the balance lead to the lead for the lights. And I'm going to tuck this in. And I'm gonna shut off the lights in my garage. Let me go, look at that. Look at that, boys and girls. Let me get the cover on. Tuck that mess away. There's a whole party going inside that airplane. Yeah, we'll pick this up. I'm gonna be careful over here. Oh, there goes the safe. The safe is working. 
so true. There you go. So that's what it looks like. All right. Let's turn on the lights, cameraman. All right, guys. Uh, I finally got the clevis set up, um, hooked up to the elevator. Uh, I did my manual trims really quick. All right. Now I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna do the safe select option where I'm gonna attach it to a, a switch that I always have chosen for uh, to activate my switch if need be. So per the manual, I'm gonna take my two sticks, I'm gonna tuck them into the corners, and I'm gonna use this hand here, and I'm gonna go like this. One, two. But there it goes. Yep, I'm safe. You see, it's one, it's one, two, correct. It has a, a braking, a braking um, set up on the ESC. So no matter which, how it stops, as soon as it hits the ground, it's gonna fold up. So that's pretty cool. I would imagine that, uh, look at that, perfect. Six o'clock position. Hits the ground, it's gonna fold up. Do my little hack and get my things put in. Um, as, a, as a precaution and as an idea, I would uh, recommend that you uh, measure your elevator from tip to tip and find the equal point, the middle, the middle part, and get it lined up. I guess you kind of want to have two markings, one for here and one for the other side, and to get everything lined up. Yeah. But that's it, guys. Yeah, that's recording. Hey, well, I finally got the circuit board in, um, the weeding up tech uh, for the light control on this, and now I have it hooked up. I didn't plug it into channel five, as they said in the instruction on the videos. Uh, we're at Wing Air Marshall, um, so I thought I could keep the safe option. I, I got it. I kept the gear on channel 5, but I put the light switch on uh, the, to control the lights on my right toggle switch. So if you look at the lights, I can change it with my right switch. So I got to plug into channel 6, aux 2, so I can change the lights and the patterns. Let me roll it over really quick. I can also shut it off and just keep it on the, the beacons and the, the nav lights. Same thing as on the bottom. Oh, it's on safe. So you see it's on safe. We turn off the safe. So now, that's there like that. Jesus. Okay, and then now you can see what it was like there. Now if you change it all, it's not gonna happen to change it. I like the night rider one. Well, this is the white one, the red one, night rider. Boom 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 Okay. All, right, so... All right, hey, so really quick, guys, I wanted to uh, fill you in on what I did, what I said I was going to do early in the video for the unboxing and uh, the assembly of the Night Radiant. And I already took the liberty of uh, loosening up the clevis, detaching uh, the connector here, back here. And also, let me get these screws off really quick. I said uh, in, that v in the video earlier that I did not, I wasn't too keen about using tape that, that came with uh they sent with the with the parts package uh, because i saw other videos and reviews stating how other uh pilots had uh catastrophic failures because the tape came undone and um the elevators the elevator wind up the elevator wind up um sliding back which got into here this part right here this little cap, crap a uh, little gap and um wind up rendering the the control surface non-usable because it was uh locked in place which wind up uh causing um a crash so i did not want to be an unfortunate victim of that uh circumstance so like i said i went and I'm about to pull it right now, right now, separate it. So this is what I did. I took two plastic pieces, probably about roughly one eighth of an inch thickness. 
And then, I, like I said earlier too in the video, I measure from um, the very end, long, the longest part of each side. Um, and I got a rough, um, well, I got an even measurement. And then I split the difference and I created two lines, as you can see, where the hash marks are. And I kind of placed the pieces as close to center as possible. And then I traced around with a, a pencil or a pen. I don't remember what, but I traced around and then I wound up using an exacto knife to cut down a little bit into uh, the foam. Um, of course, minding where all sensitive areas, you know, might be for the LEDs. But I was nowhere near that. Uh, I came pretty close over here on the edge, but I did what I needed to do. This thing is locked and solid. It's, I shouldn't have that issue. And hey, so far, um, it's I'm happy. I'm happy with uh, the outcome of it, and I don't have to worry about that tape coming loose or undone if I was to use that factory tape that came with uh, the, par the parts package. So that's my mod for the tailpiece on the Night Radiant. Also, guys, I um, also wanted to add in that uh, um, with the original wiring and the length that comes out of the, the wing, that's supposed to go into this cavity here on both sides one there one there I wind up attaching three inch extensions to make the connection point easier because back here there's not a lot of territory uh, when you once you get the wires in to attach it to uh, the, the original junction box where um, you would attach the uh, the three wire lead for the the lights remember there's no ailerons it's just lights so and over here i want to show you guys the placement of that circuit board from um, wing nut tech that i added and of course i had to uh cut a little bit of foam to create some territory uh to add in that circuit card and then uh I friction fitted it so I'm not worried about it being loose or falling out also uh, make sure even though you see the wires here but none of the none of these wires here is um, an immediate it appears to be immediate proximity to this uh, control or control horn but it's, it, it doesn't impede I've already flew it several times like this and also tested it before I even flew it you know by moving the control surface on my transmitter and checking out the, uh, the area of travel where where it comes up to this in direction so this is a lot further down than what it appears to be uh, be below this linkage right here so again um, applying uh, using this circuit uh, circuit board a mod it allowed me to remove the excess wiring of the original light control module that came um, with the balance lead connector to attach to the balance lead of the battery and also the on and off switch. Uh, it's actually it's been rendered obsolete because now I have an on and off, on and off switch on my um, right uh, wheel underneath my transmitter where I can turn it on and off. So now it's a little more neater, it's a little more organized and I, it's a lot easier to put a battery in um, and pull out without having to deal with that spaghetti. I hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless and happy flying. You guys have a good one.